to review time with Tim. Today, I am bringing you a review from the 1800s. That's right, I said the 1800s. This is a cooking recipe that I found online from the 1800s. And it is astronomically simple. And it just goes to show how simple the times were back in the 1800s. So let's dive into today's 1800s review. Okay, so in this 1800s review, okay, this is a cooking review today. Um, the instructions are super, super simple. I can't even believe that they would even put this in a cookbook. Um, but it's a real thing. Um, and it requires you to have a baking sheet and an oven, obviously, and an onion. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your onion, you're going to put it on the baking sheet, and then from there, you're going to put it in the oven. I'm going to fix that. And that is it. That's all you're going to do. You're going to keep the skin on. You're not going to do anything. You're not going to add anything to it. You're just going to bake it. I would say, just like you would bake a potato, 40 minutes, half an hour. I'm going to put, I'm putting mine at 375. And then after that, it says eat and enjoy. <laughs> so it is that easy. Um, so it also said you could add salt, pepper, butter to it to your liking. So what I'm going to do is when this is done cooking, I'm going to cut it up into sections. One section is just going to have butter. One section is just going to have salt. And one section is going to be plain. And the other section is going to have salt and pepper on it. And then we will see how good this one recipe from the 1800s is. Alright, right here on Review Time with Tim. So, currently, my onion, that is in the oven right now, has been baking for about 35 minutes, and the aromas that are filling the air in the house are uh, pretty sweet and uh, yummy tasting. It almost has a Thanksgiving-like smell in the house currently, so that's kind of cool. Um, the other thing is, the onion I picked... I should have went with a smaller onion because that thing is freaking huge and uh, it's going to take longer than my anticipated time of, I said, about 30 to 45 minutes. So I'm thinking I might have to bake this for about an hour now. So I'm probably going to have to go another 20 minutes before I can actually dive into this. But man, the smell in here is absolutely sweet and nice smelling like Thanksgiving. I love it. Okay, so I think my onion is done because as you can see right here at the uh, bottom of the pan, there is some onion leakage going on there. And I think that is realistically what we want in showing you that the onion is ready to be consumed. All right, I'm going to pop this out and uh, let's dive into it. We can see, all right, it's now... Pretty crispy. I'm going to, uh, whew, I'm going to try to get the peel off in one false swoop, I guess. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. I don't know why I picked a stupid pizza pan. But, uh, I did. Ooh, I don't know. I don't think this is ready. I mean, it's juicing. But, that was really hard to poke. You know what? I think I'm going to pop this back in the oven. And, uh, let it sit for another, maybe, ten minutes. Because this thing, I, I just, I, I picked the biggest freaking onion in the goddamn thing. Stupid. Okie dokie. So this one here is going to just have butter in it. It was um, extremely difficult 
to cut this open. It was, it's very uh, slippery. The onion is very, very slippery. Uh, this one, let's see, that's the butter. This one here, I'm going to put just the salt on it. Okay, that one's just got the salt. Uh, this will be the uh, plain, plain. And this one here will be salt and pepper. Put a little bit of salt on that one. And I'll grab my pepper. pepper. Alright. So we have buttered, salt, salt, pepper, and plain. All right, so um, my 1800s cooking recipe review. Uh, straight out the 1800s. Uh, so super simple, nothing to it, just bacon and onion in the oven. That's it. Why that would have to be in a recipe book? Because the simplicity of the times, realistically. All right, so I have my varieties here. I'm just going to start with just the plain, just to see how it is. This is a regular white onion, a white sweet onion. Um, doesn't really matter what onion you use. I prefer the white sweets, so that's what I'm going to do. And just let you know that this, eating this and drinking some coffee, you are guaranteed to have your significant other love, I mean love, your breath. So that your breath is probably gonna be banging after eating this. Right. Definitely don't have that raw onion taste. There's no raw onion taste. The sweetness of the white onion really comes through on the plain taste. Um, but other than that, not a whole lot to it. Alright, so uh, next I'm going to go with the salted one. So this is the salted one here. Wow. Wow. That is surprisingly pretty tasty. <laughs> that salt, just a little bit of salt on it, that um, really brings out the flavor of these, uh, this sweet white onion. Yeah, that is uh, surprisingly, surprisingly not bad. Wow. Yeah. That little bit of saltiness, with that little bit of the sweetness of this white onion, that goes really good. Wow. All right. Was not expecting that. Very, very interesting. Okay. Um, next, I will do the salt and pepper. It, since the salt one was extremely tasty, I'm assuming that the salt and pepper one will be even slightly enhanced with the uh, pepper that is on it. Here we go. Not as good as the salt one, even though this one has salt on it. The 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 I don't know. It's the hmm, maybe it's the pepper. Ooh, hot. Hmm. Yeah, that's not as tasty. That's not as tasty with the salt pepper. Not as tasty and flavorful as the uh, salt in just on the onion. That's kind of interesting. I thought it would be enhanced. The, for the flavor not to be enhanced, uh, that's kind of interesting. All right, next up we have... I don't know what that is. Looks like some... Something nasty. That. That's weird. Okay, whatever. Uh, next up, we have the. This is, I think, is going to be the best one because you know butter is so rich and creamy as it is. Uh, this is the buttered. 
buttered and onion, baked onion, 1800 style. Mmm. 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 Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. Mmm. That butter with the baked onion was just the right amount of everything. It just, mmm, well that was extremely tasty with the butter. Extremely tasty. I guess the people from the 1800s uh, knew what they were doing. I mean, I guess, you know, when they had nothing else in the house and all you had was a sack of onions to eat and you had nothing else to eat in the house come up with creative ways to uh eat an onion i guess you gotta do what you gotta do in tough times i suppose uh all right so what would i rate the 1800s baked onion uh, i'm gonna break it up into each little uh micro all right so the uh baked onion by itself was just kind of blah. There was nothing special about it. It didn't wow me. I'm going only with a two just because it was just so blah. All right. Uh, but when we went to the salt version, the salt amplified that baked onion 20 fold. It was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and I am going to give that one an 8.5 for taste. I thought that taste was wonderful then we move over to the peppered one with the peppered and salt on the baked onion and that one was actually a little bit disappointing the pepper i felt kind of made a weird combination with the onion and the salt surprisingly and i am only going to give that a four okay because it was better than just the plain onion but not all that great and the best one was the butter, the salted butter, mind you. It was salted butter, not just butter. So the salted butter on the baked onion was absolutely uh, delicious. Uh, and I would personally give that a 10 out of 10 for the buttered onion. 10 out of 10 on that. I mean, I could easily see that as something you bake it, you cut it up, you put it in a dish, and you put, slather a bunch of butter on top of it, and just serve it for dinner on the dinner table, along with maybe some other side dishes. I mean, I guess you could just eat this onion by itself um, as a lunch or even dinner, but it's definitely buttered or salted onion make a very, very good side dish on your dinner table. And your breath is going to be smelling so nice. And just because of that, I should drink some coffee, too. I think a little bit of coffee to even add to the flavor of what's going to come out of my mouth for the next few hours. All right, there you have it. Check you all later.